Kampala is a city on the move, and its aim is to become eco-friendly. The capital city authority is stepping up its environmental conservation efforts. We have um, a serious program, uh, very, very uh, multi-approached, where we work with the communities to ensure that we preserve restore and regreen the city. So we have a very ambitious plan of uh, planting over 500,000 trees over the next five years in Kampala city. These men and women are putting final touches on what will become one of the new green parks in the city. Authorities here believe promoting eco-friendly developments like this one will provide multiple benefits for residents to relax and enjoy this space. But as the city authorities push ahead with these eco-friendly initiatives, they are still worried about the rising levels of pollution in the capital. They are now looking into the possibility of setting up a car-free zone intended to cut down gas emissions. We are also working on arrangements to promote what we have called non-motorized transport in the city. And already we are running a pilot uh, along Namirembe Road. It will come up to... Uh, Speaker Road and then we proceed up to Ginger Road. We believe that this is going to go a long way in reducing uh, pollution, especially uh, coming in from uh, uh, motorized uh, transport. For easy access, city authorities are now paving walkways along all major roads. But experts say more needs to be done in terms of introducing laws to protect the environment. The problem is the implementation of the laws. The laws are there, policies are there, but they're never implemented. That is where the hassle comes in. They need to actually go and make sure it's implemented. The Kampala City Administration was given a boost of $175 million from the World Bank to improve its infrastructure in an eco-friendly manner. Besides working on waste management, the authorities have also installed solar-powered streetlights. They are hopeful that in the next five years, Kampala will be one of the green capitals of the world. Hilara Esga, CCTV, Kampala.